Today's talk focuses on new developments with the Giga 2 produced solar roof. We also take a look at our usual health tips and uh, we also would love to field questions from you for our show. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Inside. Thanks once again for joining us. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a repeat visitor, welcome back. So uh, I also wanted to thank our Patreon supporters as well as our subscribers. Uh, your presence makes a, di a big difference and is greatly appreciated. Um, we definitely have some new equipment going and we look forward to your feedback. So uh, before we dive into our uh, you know, new solar panels uh, item. There are a couple of quick housekeeping items I wanted to note to you. The first is that um, there's something called non-repudiation. So when I was at Stanford, we had a building maintenance guy inform me that there's an interesting phenomenon where this gentleman actually purchased an $11,000 rock for the back of his house. So I asked him what that was about and he said, well, it turns out that the rock was only about $300, but the operation on his back after he tried to move it was $10,500. So it ended up being an $11,000 rock. The reason I bring that up here is that what we've been noticing is that we're providing links to our Patreon supporters for shows uh, that we're producing on their behalf. And some of those uh, links are exceeding the number of people we have They've actually paid for them. So I wanted to note to you that um, in the computer world, there's a concept called non-repudiation, which means that anybody that's watching a video, et cetera, uh, you, we can tell you who watched it and for how long. And so if you're kind of going this route, I wanted to discourage you because uh, you could end up with a $10,000 fee for what was a $20 or $40 item. So we'd greatly appreciate your uh, handling your business in terms of paying up if you're uh, viewing uh, material that is not uh, free and open uh, because we prefer to just keep it friendly rather than uh, have drama related to uh, folks uh, you know using lawyers to come after you um, i wanted to note that uh, we're kind of excited about this show because the number one show topic that we actually do not do a lot of stories on is actually the solar business slash energy business of Tesla. It is growing and uh, is said to be uh, robust and has a lot of potential to add uh, a lot to the company. The problem we've had with it, as we've reviewed a lot of times, is with cars, you can count the number from the come out of the building with the solar projects it's a lot harder to figure out what's going on there unless you're an insider and insiders reviewing, revealing information not authorized by Elon or others can result in you getting fired. So um, therefore, you know, not a lot of data available until now with a few developments that have occurred. The first is that there's a $41 million fine that Tesla will get from the state of New York if they don't employ, I believe, 1,531 employees in the Buffalo Gear Factory plant by the first week of April. So what this has prompted from the Tesla side is to say that they will meet their goal in terms of the hiring goal for that facility. And they're also ramping the number of employees that are being uh, retained to install these solar panels uh, or solar roofs uh, on behalf of Tesla. So. Uh, another day, so I think this is obviously <clears throat> good news to see the factory start producing and uh, also having uh, installers at the other end being prepared. It's our understanding that uh, because there aren't enough batteries for cars coming out of the Gigafactory 1, they're using Samsung batteries to build out the power packs that go with those roofs currently. The next issue uh, that came up is that um, there's a, we sort of had an exposure to this product with the help of Elon Musk. Uh, there's a long interview that was done with him in a solar room on the back end of uh, Gene Wilder's old home. It was notable by the fact that, you know, the underside uh, was completely black and cut off the sun. So it operated more like an extension of the house than it is really a solar um, 
a, sort of a sunroom roof. Um, the one sort of suggestion question that I had about the roof was the fact that if it is truly a sunroom, sort of cutting in a um, sort of a window that would allow you to see the sky, I think would be appealing. But in terms of a solid surface to produce energy, I, I think clearly it makes sense for that. I just felt like the aesthetics of a sunroom usually includes some sun in it. And if it's an all black roof, it's more on a you know inside of the house phenomenon than an than an outside the house, uh, you know that's sort of open and airy. But I guess if it's producing electricity, not a problem. Um, the next item regarding this is that it was stated that for a two thousand square foot home, you're looking at about forty two thousand dollars for this roof. I was actually really impressed to meet several owners of different models Teslas that were actually waiting for this roof to come out so they can install it. So I think this is terrific to have uh, this occurring in terms of uh, pent up demand. Um, again, Elon targeted a 1,000 a week um, installation number for this solar roof. And uh, we'll see if Tesla is able to achieve that. But 40, uh, 42,000 a piece times 1,000 a week adds a nice block of revenue uh, to the company that I think actually could be nicely uh, add a nice boost to earning and profit and therefore um, be stock impactful. Um, you know, speaking of stocks, we, we hadn't really uh, aggressively gone after the numbers that were related to Tesla issuing a $765, two billion dollars uh, worth of shares. You know, we kind of covered this and uh, uh, the market seems to have responded positively to it. Um, the, uh, the one sort of question mark that seems to emerge as we discuss the solar panel is how are the Chinese going to react? Um, for those of you who may or may not know, there's a company called uh, Selectron that used to produce solar panels in Silicon Valley. Uh, they had achieved a $500 million government grant with that mission in, in mind. And it ended up that uh, they started producing solar panels and uh, the Chinese came in and undercut them by 50% in terms of cost. So pretty much that put Selectron out of business because no one was buying at the higher prices because it was a Barack Obama sort of backed idea and it failed there was a pretty large effort to sort of discredit the viability of solar uh, that emerged from this, which I think is unfortunate, but uh, you know, that's what happened. And uh, right now, um, you know, we're hopeful that Elon entering does well. Uh, the challenge for the Chinese is that if they did choose to dump, uh, given the Trump sort of terrorist situation, I, I don't think they'd be very successful um, because they already have tariffs in place and any kind of dumping activity, I think would result in uh, fairly severe responses from the US government uh, in the form of the Trump administration. So uh, <clears throat> in general, you know, we'd say that, hey, it's great that uh, the panels are ready to go. Um, we've sort of had a thing going where we tend to watch and wait until uh, Tesla really delivers the product and it's starting to be installed. We did get a chance to see it at his house, but haven't seen a large number of units installed. There have been stories that the previous iterations of it were sort of set to go, it seemed, but um, the product really didn't work uh, in the earlier iterations that were, you know, sort of had Hollywood introductions. So, um, you know, I guess I, I think uh, they look good. I think they seem to perform well. I suppose the one question that I have about the whole thing is there's actually a company called Sunflower. And it turns out that every house has a sort of an orientation relative to the sun. And there's actually a company called SunPower that makes a sort or uh, it SunPower is an existing company, but there's actually a new company that's called Sunflower. And one of the interesting things about their solar panels is it's actually basically a pole that sits in front of the house and they have it set so that the, uh, 
the solar panels will actually track the sky to pick up where the sun is sort of optimal uh, relative to the panels. One of the challenges that seems to come to mind is that if you have a home and how it's oriented or if there are trees or some of those other issues, you could end up with a fairly difficult situation when it comes to actually being able to get power and use that. So, um, you know, I, I just think it's a back end thing to consider as you're evaluating options, uh, because if, you know, clearly if your house is not ideal, uh, it might be tough to get this to work properly. So um, we'll keep you posted as we get more information. Um, you know, I, I think Elon has said that he's committed to getting this going well because they now have the Model 3 production under control. And it's kind of interesting because while that's under control, Model Y is being introduced. So it introduces, I guess, more issues relative to new introductions that does make it harder for them to get things done. So uh, we look forward to you know, getting you updates on this and uh, we'll, we'll do everything we can to sort of get this going. The one other thing on this solar panel or solar installation uh, relative to Tesla should be noted is that they evidently have several projects, medium and large projects attached to utilities in Southern California to provide electricity um, through solar, uh, you know, solar arrays, batteries, etc. Um, I'm sure all of you heard about the situation in uh, Australia where Tesla was able to sa save instantly the utility several million dollars by offering sort of solar battery backup for peak power. And as a result, um, you know, it paid for itself fairly quickly and at the same time embarrassed a local minister who was in charge of addressing this. So, um, you know, at this point, I guess we really need to see several homes and how they perform to confirm that this is a really, really good situation for the company. But we're looking forward to a triumph in that space. The next thing we wanted to do is do our brief uh, sort of review of health strategies. Uh, as Mr. Uh, Antonio Petrobono pointed out that as one of our viewers, you know, a couple of times a week, weight training can help with your bone density as you age. Uh, number one, number two, at least 25 leg lifts a day to prevent sort of knee issues or knee damage in that regard. Number three is consider a 5-2 or other fasting diet as a way to stimulate uh, your mental faculties as you age. Um, we're also advocating for trying to maintain the same sleep schedule both weekends and during the week, which gives your body a break and you'll end up feeling healthier and more refreshed all the time. And then finally, um, you know, don't go to bed within five hour, within four hours of eating, ideal, but minimum two hours to allow the food to digest so you don't have acid reflux issues. So, um, you know, we uh, usually have a lot longer shows. We didn't today, but wanted to sort of experiment with different lengths uh, based on requests from viewers. Um, this is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Chis uh, German, Ovoi French, the Heathrow, Hebrew, Hoda Hafez, Farsi, Hedgedo, Swedish, Dovigenia, Polish, Strazvich, Dubai, or Hello in Russian, Nihao Ma, Hello in Chinese, um, which also reminds me of the fact that, you know, the whole coronavirus expansion in both Shanghai and Hubei has been a real issue, sort of affecting the whole globe. And, you know, there's a lot to say that if this isn't stopped soon, it can't but uh, largely impact uh, everybody's economy. Uh, at this point, uh, the lack of Chinese tourists evidently is going to put China into or Japan into a recession. But uh, we're hopeful that uh, everybody involved can get some solutions in place that allow uh, things to get somewhat back to normal. Um, for those of you who are traders, I would say that uh, the stocks of, you know, companies that do uh, cruises is going to be under a lot of pressure, particularly in Asia, given that the number of people that have been stuck and getting infected on those ships. So we're hoping for the best in this and uh, look forward to, you know, any suggestions or ideas you guys may have to help address this. At any rate, um, 
This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Thanks once again for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe um, and have a great day. Bye for now.